I'm really excited that St. Lucia is doing this because all around the world, Japan, France, Germany, Canada, United States, different areas around the world are all embracing test, standard test methods. And to the best of my knowledge, St. Lucia is the first of the Caribbean islands to do this. So I like that they are forward thinking and I think it's, it's great that they're leading the way. The reason why it's so important is you guys are an island that relies on tourism. You are relied on just, um, just air traffic and, and, and um, cruise liners. And it's so important for you guys to be able to offer a safe environment for those people to come in. I, I, I like to think it's gonna boost your tourism and it's gonna make you a safer island in the event of a hurricane and anything else. So my name is Dave Krause. I uh, own a company called Influential Drones. We're here today representing the National Institute of Standards and Technology, a division of the Department of Commerce in the United States. So I'm here today as an instructor hired by Global Support and Development in cooperation with Airborne Public Safety Association to qualify uh, the operators and being able to fly drones proficiently. All right, my name is Mr. Um, Guy Lascasias. I'm the facilitator of the drone program for NEMO. With that certification, um, the, 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 the country's disaster response mechanism will be greatly enhanced as these men are, will not only be able to operate locally, but uh, alongside CDMA, if there is any situation in the region, these men can actually leave shores and assist as a NEMO delegation and operate drones. What kind of skills do you need to demonstrate? They need to demonstrate um, solid control of the aircraft, the understanding of its flight capabilities and maneuverability. They need to um, show a level of discipline to follow a certain script, and they need to communicate together through resource management with the team. Lastly, I'm looking to see that they're able to um, risk assess so that they fly safe and that each mission they do will be you know, a successful one. These are persons who are totally green, who went through the, the program, the drone operation program, and they have learned quite a bit. So they are capable currently in using these machines to go and do any reconnaissance uh, mission, uh, data collection, as well as even um, video uh, of any, any, any incident or any um, disaster, anything, and bring back that information and image and get a response team working on it. And the great thing about test methods is, after I leave, they can continue to progress and qualify themselves. Can you talk about the validity of the certification that you offer? How long will it be valid for? Will there be some sort of renewal requirement going forward? So NIST is not a certifying body. They create the yardstick and the unit of measure. And it's up for other agencies and organizations to determine what are the qualifying factors. For the credential that they're getting, it's valid for two years. They can recertify themselves because I'm designating them as proctors. Um, if they want to go and do more advanced training, someone like myself or someone equally qualified would have to come back and bring them to a higher tier level. But they can take what they've learned the next few days and they can progress themselves and even bring more team members in to the same levels that they're at. 